When our device got stuck on the screen lock, what we did was reset our device. We reset it. We did a hash reset and as you can see it ended up like this. On some devices, previously, with the previous security measures, we could see this option. Accessibility and from there our device was fully ready. In order to use it, an unlocked device. It would then give us access to configure it and take us directly to the home screen. But this security has already advanced, security has already been improved. Accessibility is completely blocked on the device here as. We can see that little padlock on the upper left side. That means we still have the same screen lock as. I had it and now we also have the Google account with the forgotten Gmail account. For those people who still know their Google account, I'll explain later how to recover a device if you know how. If you don't know it, you have to watch the video tutorial until the end. Since in this video tutorial we are going to use a completely different method. Also, there's something else I want to tell you that. Previously, we could enable a DB debugging from this method. Asterisk, hash, zero asterisk, hash, and we could enable a DB debugging. But these methods no longer work on most of these devices. If that's your case too, it won't let you in through this album either. We could also enter directly by pressing volume up, volume down at the same time. We drew an upward pointing letter L and we. It allowed us to enable the tab and it took us to the Google Assistant. But these functions no longer work. Now we're going to use a completely different method. Different for those people who, well, I'm going to. To explain, we're going to use a method. Well, those people. That they want other methods. A completely different method. Uh, without. PC, because this method we're going to use will require a PC to recover. Our device can go to that video description or in the first. Pinned comment and you'll be able to find other methods, both with and without a PC. We have several methods without a PC in that description. Let's connect to the network. Once we're connected correctly, let's go. Let's give you a tour so you can see that our device. He still has that account too, and finally, he already has that same one. Screen lock that I had from the beginning with the same lock. The screen it had from the beginning and now has the forgotten Gmail account. We also want to let you know that YouTube has enabled our members community session. For those people who always support us, they are supporting us, they can join that community, and what would the benefit be? We would be posting videos in advance from in. We first published those videos in advance. The other thing would be, what else would we also be doing? I'm responding to these comments quickly so that you can. They also feel comfortable and continue to remain in that community. We will be publishing courses later. Courses for those who want to access our course and join as well. As we can see here, it will take us to where our screen lock appears. That was the same block I had since. The start here now shows us the option to use my Google account. It tells us to use that Google account. For those who know the Google account, please add the email address. Click next, type in the password and go. To be able to access your device and they will only get this far. Up to this point, for those who know nothing about that, then I recommend that it also gives you T. It gives you an alternative to adding a phone number. If you still have it, type it in, click next. They will send you a recovery code. You're going to write it, but it's advisable to have it on another phone because if you have it here, it's no fun because you won't get the message. If you don't have any of this, then I recommend you do the following. We're going to use a tool. I'm going to explain where you can download that tool. Before we download the tool, we need to disable the antivirus. Temporarily because when we run the tool, the antivirus, it will detect it as a virus. 
Then I'll explain all the steps to you. I'm going to explain what you have to do. I'm going to explain it to you step by step. Let's go to what is our PC. Well, as we said, before running the tool, let's find out what our antivirus is. Let's go to our antivirus. Here you will see these options. Let's select this option that says virus and threat protection. Then we came down here. We click where it says manage settings and disable the first option. We deactivated it. Then what we're going to do is go to our browser. Here we will be able to find and write our official page. Let's write our official INA just as it appears here. They will write it like this. Dave Cell, just as Devjol appears, they will write it like this. Which I'm going to spell for you so you can write D-E-B-I. Cell Davicel, then this page will appear that says here. Davicel or maybe he'll tell you Android TV. Don't worry, it's the same thing. You're going to click on it. Then it will take you to this official page that appears. This will take you to these pages. Being here on these pages, go to the last option and you will be able to find this entry that says apps Davidol or devicel applications. This is the entrance you're going to enter. You're going to click on it. Once you enter, other options will also appear. Other pages will appear directly from here. You'll have to scroll down. You'll be scrolling down here and you'll find many methods both. Whether you need a PC or not, you'll find this tool here. You'll be able to find it here. Here it is. So download the tool. The tool has a password. You'll also be able to find that password. And you'll be able to find the drivers there too. You'll be able to find all that directly from there. Once everything has downloaded and everything is completely ready. Then I'll explain how you're going to run the tool. The tool extracts it correctly. Then you right click. Run as administrator. You're going to say yes. You're going to say next. Next, next, and you'll have to wait for it to install. Once installed correctly, it will create this shortcut that appears here. You'll get a shortcut. Then you click finish and the tool will automatically start running. The tool will run automatically. In some cases, the antivirus often activates and then deactivates. The program deletes you. If that's your case, which has happened to me sometimes, then go back into the antivirus. You disable the antivirus and run the tool again. You're going to click here where it says log in. Click where it says log in. Now the tool will be fully unlocked for us. While you're here you'll be able to find the drivers. In this device we will use the MediaTek processor. We're going to use a MediaTek processor. Install these drivers. You can also install this and run this one too. This would be the driver that appears here. This driver is very important because it tells us if the drivers are installed correctly. Where are we going to click on the second option where it says remove? We click next. Here you will see what the driver is. As you can see, if it appears here, it's because it's installed correctly. If it doesn't appear, then you're going to do this. You're going to select the first option. You're going to click where it says, install, and wait for the process to complete. When you complete the process of connecting the device, the driver will appear here. You're going to give it to me. You're going to click on it and you're going to install it. You have to do that quickly. Otherwise, the device will be locked. If it doesn't come out, this takes about 5 seconds. You have to do it quickly. We have it and we click on install. Now, since we're going to use the media processor, we have which one with Unisoft. We use MediaTek. It's automatic here. We provide service here. Here we have FRP reset. Here we have it on Android, the Android. But I always recommend this one, which is the most important. If they don't try the second one. Now what we're going to do is turn off the device. We're going to turn it off. We turned it off. Now that it's completely turned off, let's wait. 10 seconds and we're just going to connect the device. We plug it in and that's it. They will be watching for the driver to appear and they will hold it. 
they're going to install it, we connect it. If the driver appears here, then click on it and click on install. It's here, it's loading, let's just let it load here and everything will work successfully. If you see here, as shown here, successful reception. Now the device will restart or it may show loading. If it shows loading again, let's wait until it shows loading and then we can exit. Now that it shows it's charging, we can disconnect it and turn it on. Our device. Now that our device has turned on, we'll wait until it's fully configured before we can set it up. But I always use these devices when I use them. We always recover them completely. Sometimes we tend to have them left with some errors. How do we correct these errors? I'll explain to you later because it has to be fixed no matter what, why? Because when we finally recover our device using some tool, we always have the slow device to fall back on, or perhaps the screen suddenly isn't working properly. Suddenly, when you open an app or go to the Play Store, it appears. Which application keeps crashing or the operating system keeps crashing? To save you all that time, I'm going to explain how at the end of the video. What are you going to do to ensure your device is free of any errors? Now the device is completely ready for use. We'll click next here. Let's wait here. We'll select the first option here, or you can disable the network. You click here on skip, but you don't need to have any SIM card inserted. To do this process, you do not need a SIM card. To skip, click here on skip. This will make the setup faster. You're going to click here where it says, do not copy. You're going to click here on skip. Jump again if you have it or if suddenly you don't know how. To configure it, you'll activate the Wi-Fi network and then all. To explain the fastest step, we'll click next. This is what I always do if you do it this way with the Wi-Fi network. I always recommend no, we just copy here. Here it will create, it will show you how to create an account, add an account or skip the account. I always recommend skipping the Google account. This is so you don't have any complications later on. Because if you add the account, it will return. We click here on skip. We also click here on the skip screen lock. We click accept. Clicking. Accept. Here would take us directly to the following settings. We click on the small letters. The small blue letters. We click on skip. We click on skip. We click on add. We click next here. We are now at the last step to finish. What we're going to do here is finalize this method and then we'll have the option to correct all the remaining errors on our device. I'm going to explain to you what errors we still have on the phone end. How will you be able to correct it for those people who want to try others? Methods in the video description and in the first pinned comment we give. Click here to start. Ready? We'll give it to you. To start, we click on continue. We click on continue. We click here to open it. And now how are we going to correct the error? Let's go to the phone settings and from there we'll click where it says reset. We restore it. When the phone has completely reset, we'll to reconfigure it as we just did. 